to advance space technology development in Qatar. SKLSAT has initiated development of new technology for the Qatar Amateur Radio Society. As part of that initiative, STL2 will enable the, enable the Radio Amateur Satellite Corporation's first ever geostationary communication capability. That's going to connect users across the globe in real time, and it's expected to usher in a new exciting era for radio amateurs in the 21st century. Let's take a look at a video from SHALESAT about their satellite. In 2010, the Qatar satellite company, SHALESAT, was established to manage and develop a sustainable national satellite industry. Entering into a strategic partnership with UTELSAT to operate a high-capacity satellite for Qatar's broadcasting, telecommunication and internet services. And Space Systems Laurel was selected to build the first high-performance satellite, SHAL-1. It would take three years to build and weigh approximately six tons, eventually orbiting 36,000 kilometers above the Earth's surface. Space Systems Laurel provided SLSAT with an intensive two-year satellite engineering internship program for four engineers to become the country's first satellite engineers. In 2012, Ariane Space was selected to launch SL-1 from the French Guiana spaceport. And SL-1 entered into service on Qatar National Day 2013, with SLSAT's 24-7 management center in Doha monitoring TV channels, business and data services. In 2014, SLSAT selected the Mitsubishi Electric Company to build its second satellite. And in 2015, a state-of-the-art teleport facility began construction in Doha, which is now nearing completion and set to open by the end of 2018. Meanwhile, the Mitsubishi Electric Company completed work on SL2 and shipped it to SpaceX, Cape Canaveral, Florida. Now, SL2 is ready for launch, and the journey of SLSAT will continue. SLSAT, space to deliver your vision. Look can I have to configure for flight? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. Now we've had successful liftoff of the Falcon 9 vehicle as it carries s 2 uh, communication satellite to geostationary transfer orbit. Now we've cleared the towers and we are ascending. The next major milestone as we come up is max Q, that maximum aerodynamic pressure that the vehicle will experience as it goes through the thicker parts of the atmosphere. As we get higher, the density of the atmosphere decreases and there's less and less load on the vehicle. You should hear the call out for that soon. vehicle is passed through maximum aerodynamic pressure. And we've had max Q, so again, decreasing pressure on the vehicle as we continue to ascend through the thinner parts of the upper atmosphere. Now we're coming up on a sequence here where a few show. events will happen in very short succession. Those events are MECO, stage separation, and then SES-1. Those stand for MECO, main engine cutoff stage separation, and then SES, which is second engine start number one, the first of the two planned burns today. And those are MECOs when we shut off the nine Merlin engines of the first stage, and then once we've shut those down, we separate the two stages, and then once the stages are separated, the second stage engine, the Merlin vacuum engine, is exposed to space and it will begin burning. That will happen over the span of about 10 seconds, starting about 20 seconds or so from now. Again, main engine cutoff, 
stage separation, second engine start. Go ahead, stage separation. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. And we have had second engine start as the orange glow appears to brighten up the Merlin vacuum engine in the center of your screen. Again, transitioning the responsibilities. Second engine start. And we've had second engine start number two as that Merlin vacuum engine relights, which is not an easy feat to do out in space, to relight a vacuum engine like that. Now this burn will last. Spacecraft separation confirmed. And there it is, a beautiful sight as S Hale 2 floats away again also to provide communications from geostationary orbit. Today was a wonderful day. Uh, we'd like to extend a great thanks to our customer, S Hailsat, for entrusting us with today's mission, and surprisingly, SpaceX's first mission ever to be attempted in the entire month of November.